Look at these little knickknacks. So much stuff here. It's a little too small. Look at these rugs. Oh, look at those. Wowza, look at those. What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. So, guys, I got a really early start, 5.30 this morning, and I have been moving along. I am now at a rest stop in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and this is supposed to be one of the, or as the sign says, I'll show you in a minute, and an award-winning scenic rest stop so let's check out and see what type of views they have here this is where I am wow look at this that's nice Go check out the views. I did see a, I think it's a walk, a walk through where you can get the best view. So let's go take a look. This is the view from this standing point. It looked like you can hike down there. Got an 
No, I ain't doing that. Alright, let's go on the other <coughs> excuse me, let's go on the other side and see what type of views are over there. All right, guys, another rest stop break. I immediately saw something that caught my eye. It looks like some people climbed up there and spray painted their names or something on those rocks. I'm gonna try to give you guys a good look at it. I think you should be able to see some of them, some of the bigger ones. I think that is so unique. Border Patrol. FOA squad. It is Wednesday. I am just getting on the road. It's around 10 o'clock in the morning. I got a much later start today than I did yesterday. Yesterday I was up before the sun came up around 5.30 a.m. A little different story this morning. I slept in this morning. I felt really, really good uh, this morning when I woke up. So I know that it's going to be a good driving day today. I have about 17 hours to go before I reach uh, the campground in Unadilla, Georgia, Oz Campground. So I'm pretty excited to be going back there. And I figured if I knock out about at least seven hours today, that would bring me down to 10 hours. And I can knock Watch out, construction on road ahead. I can knock out about six or seven hours tomorrow. And then on the day, that I'm supposed to arrive at the campground, which is Friday, I will have the least number of hours to drive. So I'm hoping to have around four hours or less on the last day. 
Bull well, Friday, I should say, the last driving day. So pretty excited about that. I have been moving along, putting in about six or seven hours a day. It's been pretty good. Yesterday, because I started so early, I was really, really tired when I decided to call it quits. And that's probably why I slept so well last night. But I'm doing good, doing good, doing good. Just really excited to get back to the campground. Um, really excited because uh, I'll be there during the Halloween <coughs> weekend. I had to look ahead for a second. <laughs> I'll be there for the Halloween weekend. I have never been on any campground during Halloween. So this is gonna be the first time. So, and they said that they, uh, all their RV sections, I probably already mentioned this to you guys before, all their RV sections are filled. And I'm pretty sure the tent section is gonna be filled as well. So this is me repeating myself because now that I think about it, I think I, said, I mentioned that to you guys. But anyway, guys, I am gonna get going and going here and have a good drive day, and I'll keep you guys posted as my day progresses. By the way, guys, I am in Texas right now on Wednesday, and I'm hoping to get out of Texas today because I was in Texas for a little bit yesterday, and Texas is the longest state, or the biggest state, I should say, that I have to go through to get to Georgia. So I'm hoping to get out of Texas today We'll see. I don't know how many uh, hours we get. I need to get out of Texas, probably. But they got six or seven to play with, so we'll see what, where I end up at at the end of today's drive. All right, guys, I stopped at a rest stop. I've been driving for three hours straight now, so I'm doing pretty good. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon now. I think I'm only gonna do about two more hours of driving after I finish my quick lunch here. gonna fix some hot dogs right quick It's really wet underneath at the bottom of my um, refrigerator. I know what I like. I know what I like. I laid on top of it there, but it, it squashed it. But got some fresh bread. All right, guys, I'm rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling. Can't wait to get to the campground.
take a nice shower, change my clothes. That's strange because I don't see any trash cans hit around. I see one all the way down there. Windy out here, so I hope it doesn't blow my tripod over. I have to stand like this because the curve is right here and the van is on a slant. Think about hot dogs, boy, they get done really quick. I should drink a water, shouldn't I? <laughs> I know what's underneath my, the, I know what liquid is underneath my, uh, in my refrigerator now. I'm not even gonna look at it and bother it and worry about it until I get to the campground. But I know what it is, because I had some milk in here. I had a uh, half a gallon of milk. And when you lay it flat like that, I think it was leaking out of the top of the um, carton. That's exactly what's underneath there, milk. Them bad boys about done. Oh yeah, they ready. gonna dump this water out. Nothing but Look at this, because I smashed my rolls, my bread, they don't even cover the whole hot dog. Look at that. They don't even cover, come all the way up because I smashed the bread. Oh wow. Well. Must 
it all over my hand. I'm surprised there aren't a lot of flies flying around. Y'all know how I be having trouble with these flies. I don't feel like sitting down. So I know some people are saying, Anthony, why don't you sit down and eat? I don't feel like sitting down. I'm sitting down enough when I'm driving. Oh. I was talking to Kathy earlier today and I said to her, Kathy, I said I'm thinking about putting my tent up when I get to the campground on Friday. I said I bought that nice tent and I don't think I slept in that tent one time. So I'm thinking about sleeping in my tent. These are two weeks that I'm at the campground. What y'all think about that? Cause I know some of y'all been thinking it's yourself. Anthony had that tent. I haven't seen Anthony sleep in that tent since he bought that tent. <laughs> and you're right. <laughs> I have not. So I'm thinking about sleeping in the tent. Then I can put my, if there's room in there, I can put my table in there. I can chill in there, put my chair in there, or at least my chair. And just chill during the day when I'm not out and about. I might do that. my heater I can plug it into the um, electric at the campground so I don't have to use any more power to use my heater and if need be I can keep it on all night so I might give it a shot we'll, we'll see we'll see you guys stay tuned like let me stop saying that I sound like a, a, a program stay tuned it all over here. <clears throat> Leave a comment in the comment section if you think I should sleep in my tent. Or my van. Some of y'all be like, Anthony, we want to see you dance. I used to be a dancer. I still am. Break it down, break it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna get y'all a little taste of nothing. But anywho, I'm gonna finish up this hot dog. I'm gonna get back on the road. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that because nothing left to do today but drive. <laughs> so it's no, no use to keeping going with this video. 
Thank you guys so much for your support of the FOA community as well as myself. I do appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. Couple of days. Uh, I might be at the campground the next time you see me. Thank you.